Hey, what's up, you guys? Will be Jacob here to bring you my review of this week's episode of I Zombie on the CW. This week we've seen season three, episode four, which is called Wag the Tongue Slowly. <laughs> um, and as always, I want to apologize for the lateness, but I had some things, things uh, going on Tuesday, so uh, I didn't watch it until uh, tonight. Um, but yeah, you know, I said I'd uh, try to do as many videos on I Zombie this season as I could, and I'm trying to stick to that. Um, because, you know, while it's not, like, one of my, uh, you know, like, must-see shows necessarily, it is one I consistently enjoy and one I, uh, have a fine time watching every week. Um, <clears throat> and, uh, this week's episode I did like. Um, you know, I, I did think it was a little bit more enjoyable than... Let me just go back to some of the other episodes here, just, uh, for a minute. Um, I did like it more than Eat, Pray, Live last week, and probably a little bit more than, uh, the premiere episode, um, but I'll still say episode two, Zombie Knows Best, is probably my favorite of the season thus far, but this one I did think was pretty good itself, um, of course you had, a. Uh, you really had more of the, the major, not really major, I mean, uh, Peyton, uh, Ravi, and, you know, Blaine drama going on. I feel like that's starting to be a little bit dragged out. Um, it's definitely not really, uh, you know, hitting for me too much with that. I do like Dave, I still like David Anders as Blaine, though, but I just think this whole story with, uh, him and Peyton and the love triangle with Ravi and everything like that, it's starting to be a little bit too played out, I think. Um... But, again, what really made the episode this week was uh, another, none other than uh, Rose McIver. And the personality this week she had, you know, is basically a woman is uh, killed. You know, she is kind of like the gossip at her workplace. And so Liv starts, you know, just uh, talking about everything. You know, like, like she's uh, just ranting to Robbie about Blaine and Peyton and everything like that. <sighs> Excuse me, it's uh, one thirty in the morning. <laughs> um... You know, so I thought that was pretty funny, you know, I think that came off pretty well. Uh, Rose McIver, you know, again, she just really nails this role and every little personality to live has to adapt. And, uh, you know, meanwhile, you know, Peyton and Blaine have some hearts hard over, oh, what's gonna happen if he finally remembers or he finally retains all his memories of who he was or, you know, how he acted and, how he acted and everything and, you know, what are they gonna do after that? So we basically just, uh, you want know, to take the time they have and uh, cherish the, you know, the person they that uh, Peyton's fallen in love with. Um, so there's that, and uh, we also had, you know, a little bit of a major still trying to, uh, you know, fit in with the group he's working with now and everything like that. I, I know there's more to it than that. I'm just tired. Sorry, guys. Um, you know, so I thought that was all right too, and. Yeah, I think that was pretty much it. I know this review is pretty short. Um, but we all, along with what Clive and uh, Liv were looking into, you know, there's more awareness of uh, zombie existence starting to come out in the city. Um, there's even this, like, group or this internet message board, you know, talking about how they've seen this, uh, this or that, or how they want to kill these uh, zombies, basically. And so that's starting to become a growing concern. You know, this guy's, uh, you know, doing target practice on some of the drawings and everything. So, yeah, you know, I'm guessing that's going to build more as the season goes along. So that could end up being pretty exciting for our characters. So, yeah, overall, uh, what would I rate this episode? I'd rate it. I rated last week's episode 7.5. I might give this one, like, uh, maybe an 8 out of 10 or so. I think it was pretty good, you know, not, like, uh, great or anything, but I did find it to be pretty enjoyable. Um, at least more than last week's, but I Zombie's always fine, you know, I'm just, you know, trying to critique in my own little, you know, dumbed down way, I guess. Um, but it was alright, it's just not, honestly, not too engaging right now, but I do always enjoy, it. again, you know, Rose McIver and, you know, everything she does on the show and everything, so, yeah, and everything and everything. <laughs> but, yeah, I should probably go to bed <laughs> before I say something even more, uh, you know, anyway. Uh, you can follow me on uh, Facebook, Twitter, like, subscribe. I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.
Uh, next video, by the way, will probably be a review of the first season of Banshee, which was a show that aired on Cinemax, so looking forward to talking about that. Peace.